I'm absolutely thrilled to have caught up with one of my favorite people on planet Earth, Susan <laughs> Wagner, the founder and president of Equine Advocates. Welcome. Thank you for having me and thank you for saying those kind words. This is the 20th anniversary of the organization. Yes, we turned 20 on February 27th and I can't believe it's been that long. And we moved to the sanctuary in 2004. So 20 years is a huge milestone. And also we're celebrating our 15th anniversary of our, of our annual awards dinner and charity auction in Saratoga. So we're, we've reached milestones this year and so it's a very big year for us. We're very excited. And that is really what I want to catch up our fans at home on or what's going on for the year, what are the dates, the events, and how can we who adore equine advocates join into this celebration well we just started our open day schedule now that the weather is nice so if you go to our website equineadvocates.org you can see the schedule for our open days it's free to the public uh, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and you can come and bring your lunch and eat lunch at the pond and visit with our 82 remarkable horses, ponies, donkeys, and mules. Uh, that's always fun. We had our first one uh, yesterday and it was a big success. We had a couple hundred people come through. So please do come and visit us. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, we're also involved with Animal Advocacy Day on Tuesday, June 7th. And um, you know, Jim Tedisco and Steve Caparizzo are just so amazing. And we are honoring Steve Caparizzo this year at our annual awards dinner and charity auction in Saratoga, which will be on Friday, July 29th at the Canfield Casino, which is a historic building and just an elegant place. And he's so deserving. And we're also honoring his wife, Lisa. Uh, between what he's done with Pet Connection and what they've done together, over 20,000 animals placed, dogs and cats, and then he's also been very outspoken against horse slaughter, and he also is involved now with helping to place some horses, so he deserves to be honored. He's a true humanitarian, and so is his wife, Lisa. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth. I'm thinking here as you're speaking, boy, wouldn't it be great if we could get Steve Caparizzo placing some horses? 20,000 right. cats and dogs, that's enormous, and he's such a beloved figure in the capital region. Now, the event at the casino is on the 29th of July. Yes. And are tickets available on the website? Uh, information will be available. We're just finalizing the last details, mm -hmm. um, but it'll be up soon. Oh, fantastic. And on the open day yesterday, that was April 17th, yes. did you see new faces? We saw a lot of new faces, and then we had some people that never miss one. They come all the time. Some of them come to every one. Some of them come at least once or twice a year. Um, we put up on our Facebook page the first visitors that came in yesterday. It was a lot of fun. And we have some new residents. So it's, it's, um, it's a great experience, especially for kids, because it's not only a place where you come to see the animals, but you come to learn about why they had to be rescued and why they came to the sanctuary. Each horse has a bio and you can read about how he or she happened to come here. And they come from all different places. We have Pensacola Pete, a donkey from Pensacola, Florida. Uh, we have Canadian PMU mares. We have two wild Mustangs, one that came from Nevada, one from Montana, from the Pryor Mountain Herd. You know, we have horses that come from all over and they all needed to be in a sanctuary. So it's important for people to understand why horses need the protection that are you know that other animals they're they're just larger and um, in in deeper trouble because they still go to slaughter and until we end horse slaughter uh, we're going to need more people to come forward to help them and give them kind homes we can only take in so many but we can give people the tools for them to become proactive themselves thank you so much for your time and for our friends at home please go to equineadvocates.org uh, look up the open days, come visit the sanctuary, and uh, hope I see you at Equine Advocates. Mm -hmm.